welcome back to my channel if you oh, let's cat hair on the fucking camera <laughs> okay hi guys welcome back to my channel if you didn't know my name is B and today's video is going to be my six week update on my nose job um, I've got lots of good videos I took a break last week from YouTube because it's just too much filming two videos a week for you guys but now I am back and I'm gonna have two videos today I put up on my Instagram I want to know like all of your guys like strict parent stories because I grew up in a Middle Eastern household and I'm just going to do a video on that so that's going to be out on Thursday um, I put it up on Instagram today so hopefully all of you guys would have replied so that I can film that tomorrow and that'll be up on Thursday and today's video is just going to be my six week update on my nose um, I'm wearing a full face of makeup and I've done my hair today this is the first time I've done that since my whole journey so you guys have been seeing me with absolutely no makeup on looking like crap other than my doing my makeup for the first time video um, literally in the last couple of days my nose has really got a lot smaller, a lot of the swelling has gone down, it's still quite swollen like at the tip but it's really really cute and I really really love it. Yeah so I just wanted to catch you guys up and let you know how I've been doing and also just kind of like answer some of the questions that I've got recently and some of the things that have happened more recently that I hadn't told you about. Right so I've got a full face of makeup on right now but my bruising it seemed to like completely go away but then like it's kind of now like it's gone dark again like right where my eyes went blue straight away I have clips of that um, and like as soon as I woke up from surgery right here was blue and that's kind of gone dark and then um, there was some like on one of my eyelids it was like sh like near the corner it went all um, bruised as well and like the places that have had bruising have gone kind of dark again um, but with makeup on you can't really tell anything so I'm hoping that those kind of go away um, if you've got any tips on how to get rid of the final bruising let me know below hardness okay so practically my nose like it's swollen but it's like also like really really hard yeah so it just got quite hard which was a bit like off putting um, and I was getting a bit worried about it but it's completely normal it's just part of the healing process um and it's completely like as the swelling's going down it's completely softening and I'm not really worried even today it's not even feeling hard it feels tiny. Sometimes when I feel it, I'm like, oh my god, it's tiny. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. Because then sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my god, it looks really big today. But in my hand, it always feels tiny now because it's so much smaller than my nose used to be. Uh, numbness. Um, I've got pretty much no numbness anymore. Maybe like a tiny bit still at the tip, just where it's still swollen. It's only been six weeks. I've got a tiny bit of numbness then. Um, scarring underneath. Um, there's literally nothing there. Um, you can kind of tell that like there's a mark but it's not like pink or white or anything it's my skin color but there is a tiny like indent that there was like cut skin there but nobody's looking like right up the bottom of your nose so I don't think that that's an issue um obviously if you don't know this and you don't know anything about nose jobs um they only make a small incision right in the middle at the bottom um it's not like they have to like cut the whole way around your nose or anything because some people were asking me that they were like wow there's no scarring on your face it's like no yeah they make like a, only a tiny tiny cut um icing um i've been icing my face still because i've still got some swelling um that's fine um because obviously i can't blow my nose and i can't sneeze or anything um i've been regularly just cleaning my insides of my nose out with saline solution or boiled hot water um not boiling hot but like boil it so that it's sanitized let it cool and then dipping earbuds in there and then just like clearing out sometimes even in the morning just a dry earbud i can just get in there and just like make sure everything comes out it's like i don't know like it just naturally isn't like falling out right now because i'm not because when in the morning when I used to like wash my face I blow my nose as well and then obviously I'm not doing that so like I need to manually clear out the inside. The whole way through I've been talking about the swelling that I still have. So yeah you get reoccurring swelling if I have a hot bath um, it kind of gets a little bit irritated and it will swell up again. All of the swelling and bruising and everything, well I don't know about bruising I want to find out how to get rid of that but with swelling it can take like a whole year like all of the internal and external healing it takes a whole year so you can have reoccurring um swelling the whole time so that's why it kind of looks still a bit swollen um people were asking if i lost my sense of smell um no i at no point really lost my sense of smell i could smell the whole time um other like when my nose was stuffed and like all crusty with blood and stuff I was just breathing through my mouth so obviously I wasn't using my sense of smell but now I can breathe I can smell um yeah 
so I didn't lose my sense of smell but I know that that can happen to some people but luckily I haven't. Um, another thing is that there's, this is a bit of a gross one but some people, including me, can get like a gross smell inside of their nose um, of just like things healing and just like the skin being gross. Um, so I found just cleaning my nose a bit more regularly um, got rid of that straight away. Yeah, another thing I kind of said about breathing through my mouth, because then I like, when I was breathing through my mouth, I wasn't using my sense of smell. But I would say that it was only for like a week that I was really breathing through my mouth, because the first, like, you come out of surgery and you have stuffing inside of your nose as well as the strapping. And then when I left in the morning, they pulled all of that strapping out and then they left the one outside. Um, and then it's all still like got crusty blood and stuff and it like you just naturally will learn to breathe through your mouth the first night um and like somebody was saying like is that uncomfortable i wouldn't say it's uncomfortable you kind of just get used to it because your body will just like automatically open your mouth and you get used to it but like i snored and like i would have a really really dry mouth and throat in the morning like my tongue would literally feel like a stone that had fallen in my mouth or something so yeah, it's, it's annoying and it can be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's only for a couple of days and then your nose, like all of the crust comes out and you start breathing through your um, nose again and you don't need to use your mouth anymore. I've still got tiny little, um, you get your real stitches, the black ones, um, you get them taken off when you get your strapping off, um, but I have little um, white dissolvable stitches still right in the little tuck here. Um, I've still got those. Um, and they're dissolvable and they just take some time. It can take weeks, it can take months. So um, I have a meeting with my nurse literally in a couple days. So I'm gonna talk to her about everything and just make sure everything's good, have a look. Um, but otherwise I'm feeling fine. It's getting smaller by the day. I'm really, really happy with my result. Yeah, I'd say that that's really it. That's my update. Oh, I'll show you what it looks like up close. I have got contour and highlight on today. Um, yeah, it's getting tinier. You can see that the tip is still swollen. Still super, super happy though. Um, yeah, that was a really, really, really quick one. That's probably going to be literally like a two minute video. But if you guys do have any questions, do let me know. This is literally only six weeks after surgery. Like, that's crazy and I don't know where the time's gone. I'm going to do a six month update and then I'm going to do a year update because a year is when everything is said to be swollen. No. A year is when everything is said to be done and yeah so that's when I will have updates with the nose stuff. Um, other nose job videos that are coming out are my friends and family reacting to my nose job which I'm filming slowly slowly because I obviously didn't see everybody like the second after. Um, yeah so I'm filming that slowly slowly and then when I have like all of the people that I wanted to film um, all together that video will go up for you. Okay so I think that's literally everything. Please do comment all of your questions and all of your advice and what you're going through right now and how you're dealing with it all below. Um, I love reading them and seeing all of you guys supporting each other. Please do like and subscribe I've hit a 780 subscribers and I think that's literally insane so please keep subscribing please share my videos if you know anybody that's interested in no job or like if you just want to share it I would love that and yeah just do like and subscribe also follow my Instagram at bdaily videos pictures you can see like the journey along the way um, and I will see you guys in my next video thanks bye